Hey, welcome back. In the last video, we learned about a function called mget. And what mget does is it figures out the sprite, whatever sprite you're using, for a certain tile on the map. And what we did, you can see in this upper left hand corner, we have that white 28. What we did was link this mget to our player's position so that it would report what tile was under our player. So now what we can do is we can check where our player is and we can have certain things happen when he's at a certain place. So let's go ahead back to our editor. And what we've been doing is just printing out this value of wherever our player is, but we can actually use it. So I'll just double click to select this line and I'll hit control X to, to cut it. And now in our update, let's use this to test where our player is. So instead of printing this, we're just going to say mget, I'll get rid of this last brace here. And so now let's just do this in an if statement. So if mget equals whatever we want. So let's say 59. So basically if it's over the road, we'll just comment this if on the horizontal road, we're gonna check if that equals 59. And we actually have to do two equals right there to check for something if we just do one equals it's setting something so we'll say equals 59 then and we'll put an end for our if and then basically whatever we want to happen when he's on the horizontal road we put here so let's actually go up and make a new property for our player and we'll call this speed we'll have this equal one and here when the player moves we'll call this player dot speed instead of one, so that we can control this with code, how fast he moves. Okay, so we're adding whatever player.speed is to the x and the y values when we move, okay? So now we can change that speed if he's over the road. So player.speed equals two. And if he's not over the road, so else, player dot speed equals one. So now he's going to move slow when he's not on the road and normal speed when he is on the road. So here we have just one like this. And then when he gets on the road, he goes a lot faster. Cool, huh? So he always moves faster on the road. Now we'll have to change this so that he can move fast on any road. We can do that a few different ways, but we could grab this entire line like this and I'll hit control C and say, or this equals whatever our other tile is here, which is going to be 44 and that would work. So he goes slow on the grass and then fast on this road and then fast on this road. He doesn't go fast on the corner, but it's fine. But a smarter way to do that would be to use a flag, which we'll get into in another video. But that's the basic idea, is you check to see if the sprite that you're over is a certain value, and then you do something based on that. So in this case, changing the speed, but you can make this do whatever you want. You can have it play a sound or whatever you feel like doing. Hope that's helpful. If you like this, go ahead and hit the like and uh, let me know what else you want to see in Pico. Hey, thanks.